back to zip code and this is another cup of code um, here I just want to do a short video to showcase how we can um, use an OTP um, SMS this time to actually um, validate that this user is the one that we expect uh, in our um, verification um, token so what we want to do is essentially um, have our user on forgot password uh, instead of submitting email uh, they can essentially submit um, mobile and uh, let's see the user profile that we have here what mobile we have uh, let's just take this mobile number and we want to say on forgot password um, put that mobile number and just say forgot password and they will use the SMS flow to actually uh, get an OTP of six digit characters or six digit number and then um, use that token to actually validate if this user is authentic and they can reset their password in the same fashion so as uh, if you have uh, seen the Spring Boot um, the last video that we had it was the email uh, verification uh, link that we created and you can basically use that link to send it via email and then your users can be able to validate and verify that it's uh, it's them trying to update their password um, using that so uh, please do check out that video if you haven't uh, because now we're just showcasing the um, uh, the OTP flow um, right here so what we want to do is basically start with uh, our database so you'll see um, the table right here we actually have the code which is the token uh, over here so you can use the code column as a token and um, is either use email or use mobile numbers you can see here so let's try and use that and see where we end up so in our forgot password implementation so we're using this in the user service so what we want to do is we continue from the last video please do check that out if you haven't um, as yet so what we want to do is take this and put it in the email flow like that so that is basically done and then in the SMS flow which is this one uh, where we'll pass in a mobile number we sort of want to do the same thing but here instead of this uh, random uh, we want to do new random and we want to say dot next uh, we want an int here and we want to just put like one two three four five six six digits like that so this basically is our new randomizer so it will give us a, a random uh, integer uh, with the number of digits that we want but for us to make sure that this is what we expect uh, what we need to do here is let's just do um, string dot format and we want to scale our string the way that we do that is percentage the zero six digits and then we want to place our number right here so this will basically string from it so we make sure that we always have six digits uh on our uh, string that in, on our integer that we generated here and then we use that as the otp here and we want to put it as otp here for the sms um flow and then here what we want to do uh, as you can see here we we send email but in this case we are sending an sms which is what we want to do here so basically we'll be sending the same thing uh, let's say request uh, we want to pass in the request dot get mobile which is the mobile number we want to send the sms to and then we say request uh, request dot get code which is the OTP code that we just generated now then we say request um, dot entity number 
if you want to send the entity number, it's still fine. But um, uh, we, yeah, we can pass in the entity number, which is fine, and you can use the same uh, basically flow to uh, verify that the user is who they say they are. That's basically what we want to do over there. So let's now just create this. Uh, it's basically it's the same as this one so let's just do that and that then we say send sms so we want to say here is this is mobile token entity number then you can basically say string um text or let's just say message ah, message just like that and you basically say uh whatever you can stringify it and say uh verification token uh, verification uh pin something like that then you just say token and basically this will be the message you send through then you say to do uh, send sms right here so we do have a, a tutorial to send an sms and we also do have a tutorial to send an email so if you haven't checked those out uh, please do check those out and we're using aws to send notifications so if you want to see this implementation here there is a video for that Please do check out the links in the description down below. I'll attach them as well. And the SMS, uh, uh, we're also using um, AWS SNS to uh, actually send the text messages uh, via that. So that basically allows us to create the token. And now let's see this in action so that you can be able to, to verify that it is working. Uh, let's see. So now we got the otp there okay so let's save this <clears throat> now let's go back to our api uh the reset uh, the forgot password api and we have our mobile number right there and it says send and that gives us a 200 okay so because now i haven't implemented the sms i can just check in a db let's run that so now i have uh, 0673 for three so this uh makes sure that it uh basically gives me the 067343 to make sure that my otp always has six digits uh in it so that i'm happy with and we can basically use this uh, otp pin to essentially um verify if this is the actual user so if i run the api again send and then you realize that I get a different uh, OTP right here. So 593571. And I'm happy with that particular OTP. So I can use this to verify that this is the user. So if you want to test this, let's go to reset password. And we say um, the entity is that. So the params is entity that. And the token is basically the one that we just generated here. So let's take this, copy and we paste that over there and we say password it's one two three password one two three then let's say send and we get a success so now if you try to log in to on this user with the password one we shouldn't be allowed boom creating cre uh, credentials um, invalid so let's just use password one two three and let's just send that and boom voila now we get a uh, we get our OTP, so we get our um, JWT token right there, and this user is able to um, log in and perform any other thing that we want. So basically, just wanted you wanted to show you that flow to actually create an OTP that allows you to um, verify users using an SMS, and you can basically then um, uh, you can send a link basically as well there and you can basically uh you can also send the link to via the sms so let's say um uh verification pin is that verification link 
uh, will have basically the entity number and also have the token uh, as the token just like this one right here uh, let's say you also take this and put it over there and you can just say something like uh, uh, the, uh, let's say verification link uh, and then you say verification uh, verification link URL verification URL something like that that would be in your SMS then you take the message and you just send it through so when the user um, gets uh, that particular um, that particular um, SMS it, they will be basically redirected to this particular endpoint or to an endpoint that will allow them to basically enter the password like um, the password like that the password and confirm password then they will be able to then uh, be verified and authenticated so these you can always um, pass it through the different endpoints as you as you do the ver verification because from sms when you click the link when you click like the verification link it will just take you to that particular endpoint but it, it won't submit their body like this so you can use the front end that you would have to basically then um, um, taking these two parameters and uh, essentially uh, you submit the entity number and the token and it goes through as expected and the user will be the password will be updated from there so now I would say the two um, forgot password implementations are complete and I hope that this is helpful for your applications um, for now cheers